Jay and myself are going to be doing a bit of gardening today, a bit of tidying up. And then later we go into Ormock Seafront to check out this year's Love Local. So we're going to show you what we've been working on over the last couple of months. Now she's smiling and she had the ice cream. <laughs> I've been taking most of my friends some start of the day on a hammock. The hammock in our secret garden, which is the part of our garden area we've recently redesigned. We're going to share that with you today. Jane and myself are going to be doing a bit of gardening today, a bit of tidying up. And then later we go into Ormock Seafront to check out this year's Love Local, which ends today. So we're going to go out, take Isabella with us, see what sort of foods to offer and see how it is. Morning here in the province today. And you can hear the little puppies they're having a bit of an argument today with someone. And we have a watermelon growing in our back garden. Look at this. Wow. Jean's so proud of this. Put some seeds here, we didn't really plant it even. And it grows it grows so easily in the Philippines. It's just the difficulty, the challenge is to get the fruits to grow and protect them. See some flowers. You need to find the male flower so you can pollinate the female flowers. If the bees don't do it for you, that is. So we're gonna show you what we've been working on over the last couple of months. Just tidying it up, finishing it off. This is what we call our secret garden. A space where we can have a hammock, a place to come and relax with some plants and flowers. Eventually it's going to blossom into something so much more. We finally found somewhere to put our hammock. Back in 2016, when we first visited the Philippines together, I always wanted to have a hammock. I always wanted to have a hammock in the back garden when we went to Agalon. <laughs> Now we finally have it. Find a place to put it. So the grapes are here by this posts. Yeah, that one is grapes. The other one, and this one. And they're different varieties, aren't they? Yeah. So three different varieties of grapes. The plan is they will climb up the posts and they use the top and the grapes will go down. So a bit like, uh, a bit like old Greek Roman times where you can lay out on your hammock and have somebody fanning you down and feeding you grapes, maybe. <laughs> Only joking. We don't have any maids, any gardeners or anything. We like to do things ourselves. Occasionally we do have help from family and friends. We would nice to have one one day, but yeah. we're okay. Nice but to do it yourself. Enough. We'll have someone come out here. Maybe Isabella would do it. I, saying that, but I've just had a, a vision actually I can see what happened, Isabella being in a hammock, being fed grapes by us. No, she's going to enjoy, she's gonna help us one day. She's at the moment busy doing some coursework. She's into the last month of school. Last month of the school completely. She's gonna be on to a new college, new school after this month. It's gone so quickly. Amazing how quickly time goes. <laughs> it's nice though. But we're going to go to Love Local. Yeah, we're going later for our dinner. Find some food, find some snacks. Last day of it. It's only one month this year. I'm sure last year seemed like it was longer. Mm. But it's nice to experience. Yeah. I hear they have some pretty unique things for Ormock this year. We'll see what they are. Mm. There you are. That's what the hammocks are all about. We're into a new season now, believe it or not. I'm not sure how many months they take fully, but we have some garbanos here. They grow in lower down. So there's so many garbano low down here. They really are just, wow. If these all turn into fruit, I'll be so happy. These are the flowers. We cut the top off the tree. 
and it has encouraged the growth much lower down. These uh, garbano, these soursop, there's so many. Just need to try and wrap them when they turn to fruit. The birds love them, the ants love them. This tree only fruited last year for the first time. Gave us about three or four fruit. So here's my job, some firewood. It's really good quality wood, really, really nice burns really strongly for a long time and gives the charcoal afterwards. But this we're gonna put into our dirty kitchen. This avalanche. What your corn? Oh, I forgot my corn there. Yeah, I finished it all harvest and put some soil for the next. Like last year's, we're gonna see if it's any different, aren't we? Yeah, it's gonna be opening. So here we are hanging, hanging out by this front. But the sun's bright. It's so bright, isn't it? It's, it's coming it's down half now. Half past four. About two hours to sunset. It's a good time to start eating. It's quite warm. We need to get some drinks, I think. <laughs> Rocky Road. Yeah, you gonna have? I'm Rocky Road. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh cookies. Okay, melon, matcha. Alright, okay. Rocky Road and a coffee crumble. We're gonna try the fried ice cream here in Ormont. Love Local is about to open. We're going to go in there afterwards. We're going to try some fried ice cream. Never had it before, never seen it in a walk before. This is about his cookie crumble. You've been looking forward to this. That is ice cream, nice. She's not talking very much, I think she's turned to cyborg mode. The ice cream flavor overload. Okay, thank you. <laughs> That's really rich. That's coffee flavor. Mm. That's delicious. Very delicious. 
really delicious. Yeah? Yeah. Rani? Tabi kayo. That's her smile. Now she's smiling and shut the ice cream. <laughs> You got seven, seven, eight. You always about that. Just for you. This carrying an amplifier with him. I like a. Music is just vigorous. You know, he's got the amplifier. It's like in England, buskers. You get buskers who play their music, but here they're portable. <laughs> they follow you. In England, they tend to stay, stay put, but here they chase you down. <laughs> yeah. In my rocky road. Rocky road on the rocky table. Mm. Nice. Really good. So it's Adam's favorite place. The ice cream. The ice cream place is his favorite. Especially when it's hot. What do you mean hot? Ice cream hot? No, hot day. Hot ice cream. Ice oh. cream's cool. Oh, I thought you were talking about the ice cream is hot. Well, it's fried, but it's not hot. It's actually really nice. That's what I was thinking. It's like fried. an ice cream bowl. It's, How do you fry the ice cream? Well, they do fry it. They cook it with the big chopper things and then they wrap it around and make if, it into like a wafer. But if you fry it, then it should right. melt. Mm. I think it actually freezes it even more how they do it. But it's delicious. It's um, all the toppings really nice. This is Rocky Berries. One of my favorite flavors. We have the dessert for visible for, for dinner. Mm. We haven't even had food yet. I mean, dinner, but they're already eating ice cream. Two ice cream. Two so ice cream already, <laughs> just in an hour. Back. 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 Back.